Today we're sailing to Blue Waters Resort where wow. Tata lives. And these are my Where Filipina you? friends. Yeah. Sailing, is it your first time? Yeah, first yeah, time. It's our first time. Is your first time, time Jessica? Yeah, first time. First time. No. Oh, but you many times. Yeah. First time, Jessica. So, uh, we're sailing actually, and we haven't sailed for a while. So yay, we're sailing. Um, it rained a lot yesterday. It was pretty rocky. Let me show you. And the state of our boat. Still lots of stuff. Not as much. Let's go outside. I don't know if you can see the fishing boats. They go in and out, um, in and out, all night and all morning. Um, they must catch a lot of fish. I don't know, probably small fish. So see, you see the water, it's a little rolly out here. Um, they forecast three days of rain. Yesterday was raining really hard. That's the condo resort they're building at Ocean View Marina still under construction see we're moving Whee! and my lemon um, grass plant got a lot of water and clothes that got wet yesterday coming from land to the boat it was raining like cats and dogs so we have some laundry to do today and the state of our boat always like a sorry sorry uh, a sorry sorry is like a little store that they have everywhere that sells everything imaginable like to soaps coffees what are you thinking Paul what I should get done today between showers I thought you wanted to do the sewing thing I do we're gonna take lazy jack off and stitch that and I ripped my dress Usually I don't wear a dress to sleep, but last night I did because it was raining and I thought I might have to pop up and help Paul if we dragged or something. And then, look, I um, my shoulder sat on it and it broke. One of my favorite dresses from the Sari Sari, I call it Moo Moo. I wear it all the time because it's comfortable. And Paul bought lots of fresh things yesterday. I love um, garlic. Um, ginger, cucumbers. Um, I don't know what this green thing is called. Does anyone know? Um, it's like a green melon. Um, it's great as a stir fry, but better at, um, in soups. So we've been eating a lot of this. Love it. Red onions, cabbage, carrots, more you cucumbers. Do a on, um, how to make the pork soup with that. Oh yeah, I'll do how to make pork soup with this, but most people can't get this. I think Vietnamese uh, supermarkets have this um, and Asians because um, the taste is very um, familiar to me. And um, what do they call these little lime lemon things? I forget. Just lime. No, they call it something else, the local name. Uh, Anyways, I just woke up, I don't remember. So we're going to take a shot of this because um, Paul and I have been sick. So, uh, boost our immune system. My concoction of ginger, that lemon, um, orange thing, I forget the name. Um, ginger. Oh, a few leaves of lemongrass and I bunch it up so you can smell the lemongrass. And then I boil it and then I'll um, put it with um, honey and turmeric for a very healthy immune uh, boosting hot tea. Paul just told me we're stuck here until January 3rd because a typhoon is hitting about 100 uh, miles further north so there's going to be a lot of um, big seas, heavy winds so it's best that we stay cooped up here um, I wanted to see well sharks at least for Christmas, but then New Year's, but now after New Year's. So I guess, oh, we can go around the island. We'll go around some small islands. 
happy that bunk guys are going out to go fishing. Um, but with a typhoon, it's a little rough. So they come out of there. There they go. Hi! We'll be doing um, some cooking lessons. Nothing fancy, we're not chefs. Um, sometimes natural style, sometimes not. Um, so yesterday, Paul caught a skate or a stingray. So we'll be cooking it today uh, very easy on a barbecue. So the best food is the ones you catch yourself. So uh, we had this in the refrigerator. So it has a very tough skin, as you can see. And we just gonna throw it in the barbecue because we didn't Google how to um, cook it or anything because he just caught it just very fast. So, and it's so delicious. We'll show you the end result. It tastes um, like lobster and scallops. The strangest um, bones. We'll show you that. But can you see my eyes? We did a photo shoot today with blue eyes, but I don't know if it's going to turn out. So I still have it. And two baked potatoes throw on the barbecue. Easy, fast. And lots and lots of garlic. And I crush it with my mortar and pestle. Um, this is only a small one. Paul won't let me bring my big stone one. And um, he'll be throwing this on the barbecue. Um, our cooking lessons are just fast, easy. We're on a budget. We're sailors. Um, and I'm going to do something with this um, leftover rice. Probably just butter and garlic. And uh, we'll show you the end result. And today it's really cold. It will be nice to do it over an open fire. But it's illegal um, in the wet, wet Sundays here. So we respect those um, laws. So we're going to do it on the barbecue and it's still going to be yummy, not as beautiful. And think about all the noceums or they call them midges on the beach at this time. Um, you can see I, I got bitten a lot. You see bites? Well, I don't yeah, know if you see bites. Some... Okay. Oh yeah, here. Right here. See? They love the Asian buffet. So I have to close the Asian buffet. Okay. Paul? Okie okay, dogs. Okay, here we are out in the barbecue. Just a bit of good old canola spray. Easy to clean up. I'm putting it on tin foil. Instead of using the barbecue tray raw and rusty and everything sticks to it. And this is a classic shat on Aussie boat. I'm <laughs> working on it. I've got projects on the go. I have to stand and lean across. <laughs> and that fuel can is empty, so there's... Uh... Okay, we get it. <laughs> Someone vomited on the boat. Lighting up the barbie. You, you had to say barbecue. Uh, you said barbecue, but barbie, you said... Barbecue, barbecue, okay. yeah. But you said barbie. Australians are supposed to say barbie. I did say barbie, didn't I? No. It doesn't matter. Okay. Right. So it's a light. doesn't matter about throwing these in now or not. No, put it on the bottom so it cooks faster. No, it'll get enough heat up top. Okay. And this is the real hard part. You've got to make sure that you put them skin down. That's about it. It's all I know. I haven't Googled it yet. Skeet, skeet, skeet. Mmm. I can't wait to show you the final result. They'll cook pretty quick. Oh, and the edges go crispy and they are just delightful. Here we are, the first lot's cooked, or at least from what I'm learning is cooked. So you can pull that, the, and you see, the meat just, just forks out, just pull it out of the rib. It's got like a rib cartilage or cartilage bones in there. Quite peculiar. Well, yeah, it's like ribbons. It's like kind of scary almost, but so delicious. Well, actually, this piece I haven't got to them yet. This oh is, yeah, this is the outer wing. Is that black stuff like gonna That's be the, eating the skin? Oh, I thought. Okay, yeah, try to take that out. Okay, we're gonna be eating it with garlic butter and some wine, but we'll wait for the next batch. Pulling the underside skin off on this one a little bit hot sorry about the no not quite cooked to the edge 
Okay, you, you want to throw it back in? Yeah, this is still a bit sticky, so I'll throw it back in. Okay, but so delicious. So today, we realized why the meat was so sandy, like um, fine grit sand. Whereas yesterday, we had a barbecue with a fellow boater. Paul left it in um, a water bucket. The smaller pieces we put in the freezer immediately, so I realized it needs to be rinsed a lot more or just a bucket of salt water um, to get rid of most of the sand. Still yummy, but a little bit gritty. So, good to know. This is the last batch. Oh, look at how Paul's um, tearing it with the fork. It's so interesting, the texture. Yes, it looks a little scary, but so delicious. You've not going to even notice the texture. And we reheated the garlic butter. We've been drinking cheap cast wine in Australian Woodstock. And what we've learned with this is you're better off to overcook it, unlike a lot of other meats. Overcooking this a little, it just turns so soft and falls off the bone. Yeah, even I agree. So that, se that seals the deal. <laughs> and show them the bone. That's the cartilage. Oh, cartilage, cartilage. It's so odd. And actually the cartilage with the um, skin for me tastes like cuttlefish. And, you know, the dry fish that Asians eat. Um, you pick so, some more of that later. Yes, I don't raise anything, so I pick at that. So, bon appetit! This is um, actually our second cooking video. The other cooking video was roadkill. RC mm -hmm. that one day were put together. Explain about RC. Not now. <laughs> hey. What? Did you say bon appetit? Bon appetit. Come on, get into yeah. it.